Oh, hey, what's going on guys? This is the new engine for our station wagon project. Uh, well, you know, I was gonna LS swap it and I still want to, but that's just gonna take a little bit more time and money to get everything that I need to put a big, a little turbo on it, make some big horsepower. So we found this 460 in a junkyard out of a running vehicle. And we're just gonna put our high compression 429 heads on it, put a little bit of a cam in it, and we're just gonna swap this in there. So today we're just gonna take it apart, see what it looks like. And yeah, that's about it. Let's go ahead and get to tearing this thing apart. So our distributor is a little bit stuck. I don't have a PB blaster because that would be ideal. So we're going to put some WD-40. It's not really going to penetrate, but hopefully it'll do something. I forgot I had an automatic distributor loosener up on the shelf. Well, we're getting it to rotate a little bit, so that's good. Mm. All right, got it a little loose. Let's see if our pry bar. Let's we'll see if our. Distributor assistant can take it out now. There we go. Nine times out of ten, fix it with fire. Let's go ahead and get this piece of jewelry off. Just so that's out of the way. this upper intake man after we take that top intake off you're done just bolt your carbonator right there and you're good to go dual plane it's perfect no don't don't do that all right now we got our upper air combinator off let's get this lower off These two front guys are a little tricky on a big block Ford, so you're going to have to resort to your caveman tools for that. We'll get back to that. I know guys, I know. I'm not too happy about it either, but what are you going to do? Get your whatever this thing is. There's not even a battery in it. 
and get your persuader. That'll help get rid of a stubborn bolt. So you don't just torque the head off of it. Seems like we missed two bolts. All right, now that we got all the bolts out, I usually just give it a little tap a tap let it know we're here, we've come to party, and uh, yeah, and we'll get our big bar out. Wow, that was easier than 97% of the usual intake jobs that I do. I just crack right off. Now we got a manhandler a little bit. Can't be easy, can it? There we go. Let's check out what it looks like. It looks really good in here. All this is from the one and only and me. But it's really clean. These ports, I mean, they have some carbon buildup, but no sludge. Cans nice and shiny in there. I'm really surprised. We may have scored big time with this. Let's um let's get these valve covers off and see what it looks like. Gotta use our adjustable wrench again and um I have my Bluetooth safety glasses on, so yeah. We'll do that. Adjustable wrench works every time. Wow, this is awesome. Let me show you guys what these look like. Again, guys, this looks really good. No sludge, no grime, all that dirt is just from me. Yeah, I, I think we have a real winner with this engine. This is gonna be really good. Let's um, we'll go ahead and take this head off, and we'll see what we got going on there. I don't see anything glaringly terrible. It all looks pretty good. So it looks pretty good in here. Bunch of carbon buildup, but it's all good after 160 or 180,000 miles. I can't remember how many miles this motor has, but I mean, all that considered, cylinder walls look good. Pistons don't have any damage. I mean, no scratches. It looks really good in here. I can't really catch my fingernail on anything for the ring ridge. I think we're gonna be in business. Hopefully these clean up good and yeah, we'll be on our way.
So, if your head's not budging, make sure you look around and see if there's anything else holding it on. Back to my previous lesson. I found out what was holding this head on. The head bolts. We've got two stubborn ones. Let's see if we can get them out. This old guy is not going to get the best of us. Let's give this a whirl. Damn it. I think we're going to have to take a break from this before I do something stupid and break a head bolt off in the block, so. See you guys in the next scene. Alright, let me show you guys what I did to get this head bolt loose. I zapped it on Titan just to see if I could get the bolt to move. And then started rocking it back and forth between loose and tighten, loose and tighten, loose and tighten, loose and tighten. You know, you get the deal. Then, took our breaker bar with the wrench on it and that's actually your hobo freight jack handle and uh i think we got it to start budging so let's uh god i'm tired of this i'll tell you what that one had my butthole pucker pretty tight Really glad that I didn't break it off in the head. So, here goes your redneck ingenuity, and uh, you know what to do if that happens to you. Let's, uh, let's keep getting this head off. Oh, um, yeah. That's how I wanted to do it. That way I didn't have to pick it up myself. Um, yeah. We do, oh, hey, I can see underneath from here. Yeah, a little bit of carbon buildup, but everything looks good. And we laid it on the exhaust manifold, which I'm not going to use anyway. Son of a big block. Well, now that we've gotten this far down, let's probably let's take off the water pump. And the engine mounts. I don't have a balancer tool. Hey, water pump pulley. No, I'm not doing that. All right, let's do it. Guys, you saw it here first. First guess on what size is that bolt. We got it right. Water pump remover. Boom. That looks really clean too. We gotta go rent a tool. I'm gonna clean up all this crap before, before uh, Maddie sees it. And uh, yeah, see you 
See you in a little bit. So, all the parts stores claim that they don't have a lifter removal tool, they don't exist, whatever, whatever, whatever. So, we have a new cam going in anyway. Just use your vice grips and wiggle that thing back and forth. Relieve your lifter from the bore. Whew. Only 14 more times. This is not legal advice, but just send it. Whoa, Nelly. Um. I think that's a little bit more than ideal timing chain slop right there. So. Good thing we have another timing set. It is a double roller. I don't know if those are like it from factory. So, I mean, that's maybe a plus. Ah. Huh. Always make sure you have uh, two hands on your timing set. Yep. That hurts. Gotta take off the thrust bearing. Okay. Don't, don't do that. Um, don't mar your cam bearings. You can hold it on it. as much tear down as I want to do. I mean, the only thing left is the oil pan. And um, before I put the new cam in, I want to give it a good old spraying and brake clean. Just kind of get this loose carbon off the cylinders. Oh look, you can do that just like uh, spraying your little pixie dust. So, we'll do that. I'll clean up. And, uh, well, I am beat. A lot of things beat me on this. Well, actually, nothing beat me, but a lot of things beat me down. So, we got it all apart. We checked out what it looked like. It's got that junkyard magic in it. It'll be fine to go in the wagon, at least for a little bit, until we get our LS swap going. So, join us next time. We're going to put our cam in it and put the heads on intake yeah this is gonna be fun get them revs buddy